I'm in Yorkshire, East Yorkshire, to be a little bit more accurate. And we've just had a really stormy day today, but the clouds have cleared a little bit. The sun looks like it's gonna come out. And I've come to Flamborough and Flamborough Lighthouse, which you can probably see behind me. And I'm looking to do some sort of seascape, cliff, lighthouse photography. And what I'm gonna find here, I've only been here once before, um, but I think with the conditions we've got tonight, we're in for a treat and I'm hoping that I'm gonna get some great images. So I'm gonna get set up and then we can see what great competitions we've got around here. First of all, we're gonna do a little bit of a scout. So I've come away from the where I was was before down by the coast um, and cliff tops, and I'm now pointing directly at the lighthouse. So I want to get this before I go over there and get the sunset shots, because I think I've got an opportunity now. The sun's just in the right place, just to just just look ideal with the lighthouse there. And I've got these amazing grasses here, and you can see they just move into the with the wind to the right hand side. And what I'm hoping to do is get these in the foreground lit up by the light, but the light at the point where it's not quite shining through the cloud. And it's all about exposure. This it's so difficult to get the right exposure. So what I'm going to try and do is make sure I don't blow out those highlights too much in the sky, and retain some detail in in the foreground as well. So I've got a hard 0.9 dot ND filter, and then I've got it set on ISO 100 F16. So because I want to get sunburst if possible. And yeah, it looks it looks great. It's just getting those conditions. So I'm going to put this vlogging camera down and really concentrate on this, and you're going to see the results now. <laughs> So I want to talk a little bit more about composition in this video. Um, so first of all, I think it's really important to try and settle on one main composition whenever you're out shooting. Um, you just get so much more from doing that. I think if you try and do three or four great shots in one shoot, then you're very unlikely to, of any of those to get the most out of it. But if you just think like, that is the composition I'm gonna shoot, I'm not gonna worry too much about all the other things that are going on around, then you're gonna get the best out of that composition. But the problem is trying to find that composition. And I think the few key things to do in that, one is arrive at the location really early so you've got time to scout it. Actually, I'm just gonna take a quick sh shot here. So. So this proves my point really, you know, I've, I've set up, this is my main composition. I've taken a shot over there just whilst I was looking, looking around, but this is the shot that's, that's going to be the, the main image from, from this shoot this evening. And I think by having a scout around, being to this location before and knowing that, you know, the, the surroundings around here, then I've got a much better chance of getting the best out of this, of this image. So what I've got here is I've got some cliffs over here. So I'll just show you. So I'm looking at there's some cliffs now. You should be able to see those. And I've got all these amazing grasses again. These grasses are really a, a theme of the of, of, of the evening, really. I, they just catch the light so well. They're moving quite a bit as well, but I'm not too bothered about that. I'm not too bothered about them moving around in the wind. I think that adds to the to, to the you know to create a what the evening was like when I took that photo, which is again what you're trying to do with a photo. You're trying to capture a memory, capture a moment in time. 
So I'm not too worried they're gonna move around, that they're gonna anchor the bottom of the image. In the mid part of the image, then I've got these amazing cliffs, and then the sky above. Well, what's to go wrong there, really? Now what I'm gonna do, and I often do this, is I'm gonna take two shots. I'm gonna take one shot, which is just with my graduated neutral density filter, and in this case, it's a hard edge neutral density, um, graduated neutral density filter. And then I'm also going to take another one with a 10-stop Nissi filter. And that's going to create some movement. Obviously, it's going to flatten out the sea. Um, and I'll show both images and see which you prefer. I mean, in fact, why don't you comment below in which image you prefer out of the two? I tend to like the ones that aren't with the big stopper. Um, usually, the big stopper's not for me. Uh, but I think in this scene, I think it's going to be quite close. So I'm quite excited to see what happens. The light's just phenomenal. What a beautiful evening. You can probably hear the, the birds. I mean, obviously, around here, Benton Cliffs are just a little bit further up the coastline. It's just, it's just phenomenal. Sometimes we just don't realize how lucky we are living on an island with so much beauty. It's stunning. Traveling from the deep forest into the sun. Right, well, I think I've had the best of the light. It's past sunset now and it's gone into a big dark bank of clouds. The light in the other direction is pretty good, as you can see here. But behind me, the shot I was taking hasn't really worked. So I got an okay shot, but it wasn't brilliant. I was hoping for a lot more, so I'm slightly disappointed. But I know that if I can get the light there at this time of year, I will be able to get a sunset shot on the east coast, which is obviously quite difficult, um, but it just works out right with the headlands as they are at the moment. But now I've got to get back to the car and go and get a nice cup of Yorkshire tea. So thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I got so much response from my video in the Lake District. I was really taken aback by it, to be honest. And um, I appreciate all the people that watch my videos. It really keeps me encouraged. All the comments down below massively encourage me. And if you're not subscribed already, then please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks. Until the next video, see you next time. Bye.